Hi there everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and I'm going to start doing something I think a little bit different. Typically I utilize my uh, you know big video camera for stabilization but then I have to like download it and upload it so I'm just going to take a whack of videos with my cell phone, upload them right away. Hopefully I'll get more content to you faster with shorter videos so you can keep your attention span. So I'm going to start out by walking through the watertight cylinder that I set up for my Alvin. Just wanted to give you a brief overview of how I set it up. Uh, and what it looks like right now. So let's take a look. So this is a modified D&E three and a half inch cylinder. Everything is powered by a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery with an eight amp capacity. And the only reason I really went with that is uh, super robust waterproof and the hull has tons of room inside so that's certainly not an issue. Power flows in uh, goes through a uh, standard automotive 15 amp mini fuse into my remote on off switch and that's controlled by this key fob right here. I've got a power distribution block on the bottom. I've got an angle uh, speed controller. I've got a separate uh, BEC or battery eliminator circuit with a 5 amp capacity on there. I've got some angle uh, metal ball bearing servos, beautiful, beautiful servos, I love them. I've got a Subtech SES3 electronic switch that controls my twin air pumps for the ballast system. Uh, and then obviously this is the main drive motor. So one of the challenging things, as I mentioned in my previous video, is that I wanted the thrusters, the vertical thrusters, uh, to operate off of a single channel. So I'm mixing not only um, a servo, in this case uh, this side here, but also a speed controller which is hiding under here that controls it. So as you press the stick upward, uh, slowly the thrust increases as the angle increases and it actually works out uh, pretty slick. So in the coming videos I'll show it uh, to you all hooked up with all the lights going and everything, but that is a brief overview of my cylinder. We will catch you guys next time.